Hey guys, Adam from Scooter Street. In today's video, we've got an Avespa ET4 2001, and it has got a flasher relay problem. So the indicators are actually flashing very irregular, and we're gonna show you a great way how to fix that. So instead of replacing the ECU, which the flasher relay is built into, we're going to wire in a separate flasher relay. We're gonna show you which wires to use, what parts to use, and that will solve our problem. So by removing the inner leg shield, uh, you'll find this component up here, which is the ECU. So we have already unbolted it and uh, we're just gonna hang it down here. So we've already isolated the wire that we're gonna work with now. And that is this little guy here. So uh, you can see we have cut it off. Oh, I'll get something to paint. So we've cut it off from in here. And um, so it's actually no longer connected. And what we're going to do is uh, junction these two wires and um, insert the flasher relay. So let's have a quick look at what we're going to use today and uh, we're going to use just a standard flasher can. So that's a two pin and we're also going to use uh, two prepared wires. doesn't really matter on the length but uh, they need to have slide clips in them because they're going to connect in to the flasher can and also uh, these wire tap uh, terminal connectors. So um, we need a couple of those guys. We'll show you how we uh, assemble those onto the scooter. So when we start to assemble, uh, we'll use just our red wire to the battery terminal on the, on the relay. And uh, once we've got that tail, we're gonna join it up onto the orange wire, which is our power wire. So using the tap terminal, both the wires go in and um, just grab some sort of crimping device and you'll be able to pierce them. just like that. And then once you've got them pierced, they're basically locked together now. And uh, you just put the end cap, which secures everything together. And you pretty much just ended up with that. That'll be the finished product for the first wire. With the connection of the second wire, so this is uh, what you might call the light from the relay. Uh, you, once you've joined your slide clip in, then you're gonna take your wire. And this time we're gonna join it to the blue. So get your terminal connector and your free wire together, and then make your connection. Once you've, once you've got your connection, then you'll just uh, pull the ceiling cap over. And uh, again, just give it a little squeeze, make sure it clicks into place, just like that. So that's what we're ending up with, guys. Uh, both these wires are now tapped into the wiring loom on the scooter and they go down to our relay. Let's give it a go. So now let's uh, test our little correction and see how we went. So once you've got the power on for the scooter, you wanna test your indicators. So straight away, you can see that there's a solid pattern, uh, normal flashing. And if we have a look at the other side as well. Okay, it looks like we've done well. So what you do guys, take the bike out on the road and um, generate some power through the stator and ride it. Make sure that your flashing sequence is correct. But uh, in most cases, you'll find that that will solve your problem. So that is how to fix the indicator issue on the Vespa ET4 M19 model.